Classroom Support and the Center for Teaching and Learning have teamed up to design active learning classrooms on the UNC Charlotte campus. Active learning is not a new concept, in fact, Harvard's physics professor Eric Mazur was brought to UNC Charlotte to speak on the flipped classroom. The flipped classroom inverts traditional teaching methods. It delivers instruction online and outside of class. Traditional lectures are replaced with a learning environment where students learn through interactive activities. Now we've taken that flipped classroom concept and we've called it active learning. Active learning is the process of being engaged with the application of knowledge. Students are expected to do their homework outside of class before the class starts. That's where you get the basic acquisition of content. The instructor's role then changes. Now they're in charge of how that's applied. And to apply that concept, they're asking students to engage on, uh, on an implementation level. The Center for Teaching and Learning has been researching the collaborative work that the UNC Charlotte faculty wants their students to engage in. However, currently UNC Charlotte does not have the kind of spaces that facilitates active learning. UNC Charlotte has positioned itself as being quite concerned about the content of the work of faculty and students and trying to align that with the configuration of spaces. The Center for Teaching and Learning then approached classroom support to design an active learning space for the university. What went into designing the space was a lot of research and planning. Uh, we were looking for a proven model, uh, something that other institutions had applied that was successful in the collaborative arena, and we found that in the NC State scale-up model developed by Bob Beekner. So we worked very closely, in fact Bob was a consultant on this project, uh, we work very closely with Bob and with the architects at Perkins and Will uh, to determine table size, uh, number of occupants per table, uh, seating spaces, the number of displays that are distributed around the room, um, the amount of space that's around the instructor station. Uh, it's all geared toward movement and encouraging movement around the room. The active learning classroom design differs from the standard classroom design because it focuses on collaboration. The classroom sets the stage for students to approach one another and share information. In our standard classroom model, you have individual seats, there is an individual focus point. Uh, students are encouraged to look straight ahead. Um, here there is no individual focus point. Displays are distributed around the space so that um, that individual model is broken in the collaborative design and that's the primary difference. The potential for students to drive the content of the class is inherent in an active learning classroom. As soon as you take the professor out of the middle of the classroom and have them be the person guiding the students through much more peer-driven interactions and, and much more active learning, you have a new possibility in the classroom. UNC Charlotte's new active learning classroom is the embodiment of excellent educational thinking of how students should learn. The classroom allows movement and team-based learning. It allows the students to engage with the content at a completely different level than has been possible in the past. To learn more about the active learning classrooms on the UNC Charlotte campus, contact the Office of Classroom Support.